All right, guys, what's going on? It's been a while, uh, really long time since I've last uploaded a video. Uh, just nothing's really been going on uh, with me and cars. I still had the end pretty much in the same form as the last you guys saw it. Uh, i actually been debating on selling it for the past couple months. Um, but if I upload again, the next video will be basically me explaining what's going on with that. But as you guys can probably tell, we're no longer in the brick garage. Uh, me and Lindsay bought a house. Couple, uh, we've been here for a couple weeks now. We got it the day of Thanksgiving. Uh, we've been shopping around for like, I don't know, the past four or five months maybe. And uh, finally decided to make an up, uh, update video for you guys. So I'll just show you guys around and see how the garage looks for now. Uh, I Definitely, it's gonna be a lot going on in here. So I kinda want a video for myself and for you guys of the transformation of how my garage goes. So first thing you guys can see, I bought a cheap wire rack from Target just so I could, you know, put stuff on while I bring stuff here. Uh, the silver one, I'm leave the one I've had before in the my parents' garage, I'm going to leave for them cause, just because I'm going to be taking so much from them. I wanted to leave them, you know, some kind of storage space. So this is just stuff that, you know, was on top of other storage space, uh, like my detail cabinet which I'm thinking is going to go right here, either on this one or that one over there. So I'm thinking detail cabinet, this wire rack here somewhere, uh, my toolbox, it's going to be kind of tight, so things might move around, but my toolbox, my workbench, and my small corner workbench, and then at the uh, mini fridge, either I'll leave it on the bottom as it is now or on top. I kind of really want to leave this wall empty. Uh, just so whenever I am working on a car, we could pull in, you know, a, a pretty good amount. Like if, if there was something there right now, I wouldn't be able to get that close to the wall. And I might be touching, you know, the, the garage door like I had my parents. So I want to give myself room front and back. So this wall is, might be off limits or at least up to the middle. So so uh, when we're working on cars, we have room. Um during the summer, this is pretty much going to be just my garage. Lindsay, you know, could park in front. But during the winter, she already made uh, she already made kind of a point that she wants to park in the garage, especially on days when it's going to snow, just so she doesn't get snowed in and stuff like that. But we should have enough room. I don't really have that much stuff to bring. That's a problem for future Oscar. So, yeah, this wall, pretty much want to leave empty. Uh, this wall also, I kind of want to leave empty. If I do end up using anything on this garage, on this wall, uh, it's either going to be hanging stuff that's hanging or, you know, kind of really, really short things that are nice and compact to the wall. So they're not sticking out that much. Uh, but I, I'm, I do want to epoxy the floor. Uh, that's a summer job, which is why I'm kind of hesitant on bringing things over because the floor needs to be, the garage needs to be empty. You know, the whole floor needs to get treated and needs to get basically be greased um and then might have to be like sanded down and then we could lay down the epoxy but again that's a future ask or problem that's a summer job so we'll worry about that later i also want to put insulation on these walls and drywall so that's a summer job as well so for now it will stay open like this and uh yeah there's a car technically i believe this is a two and a half car garage same as my parents um there's kind of seem bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay all the way in the corner. Is the the new iPhone, so I got it on wide angle. Um, there's there's a two and a half. This is technically a two and a half. It feels smaller in here. Um, I don't know if it's because like we had the driveway at my parents' house. I'm in the alley now. Um, I'm like three houses in, so we re we don't have a driveway. So this door is pretty much gonna be closed all the time. So maybe that's what's making this feel a little bit smaller. But either way, it should be enough room for myself. But uh, yeah, it's just a quick little update on what's been going on with me and uh, my current life situation, I guess. Um, I've gone overnight for the rest of this month. So if you guys do get another video, like I said, it's just going to be an update video talking about that. And just quick little update videos. Uh, I do plan on updating you guys kind of stages of how this garage is going um throughout the you know bringing stuff over here again just for you guys the ones that care the ones that are still around and then for myself to look in the future you know oh look this is how this is how you know our garage was when we moved in and who knows you know in a year or two from now 
we're thinking about tearing this part of the wall down, adding a party door, you know, that way we could come back and see how this garage used to look. You know, like I said, I want to put up drywall. It might get painted, so this, this garage might look entirely different. Um, these cross support beams are supported. So, you know, who knows? We might be able to throw, put some flooring up there for storage. We might even be able to get hanging storage. This garage might, might completely transform, so just like to see you know how it looks now and then in the future for myself and for you guys uh, as you can see i uh have one of these garage lights on from from my parents house actually during black friday like a year ago they were on sale so i bought an extra set uh i was just testing out the wire to see if it'll even reach like up there and it doesn't so i just ordered a 11 foot wire so what i'm thinking is have it start here and basically go around in a big square. Uh, one thing I also want to add is another outlet because we only have two outlets there on one box and then two over there on one box. And there's a box here. So I want to add another one going out this way and end right here. And then we could always remove it if we're going to add a, a party door in here. Um, but yeah. Quick little update for you guys on where I've been, what's going on with my life. Um, I don't know if this video does really good. I'm, maybe I'll do like a house tour. We're, we're not moved in, we're renovating. Um, just fixing some like cracks in the wall. Lindsay wants to update our bedroom. So she's doing board and batten, I believe it's called. Um, and then just painting. So we should be moved in in like another week. But yeah, if this video does good, maybe I'll do a house update. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can think of. Hope you guys enjoy the update. And maybe I'll see you again when I do, if I do an update on that, I might sell it. See you guys.